I think that anytime you are training jujitsu with somebody, you learn a lot about them. <laughs> so Emma and I's relationship has really been strengthened through training together because you get into these deep waters with somebody that you cannot, you just can't get to in the same way outside of the mats. Everyone goes through struggles and tough times and situations with their close relationships, just as a nature of having long-term relationships, those things are going to happen. But when you're on the mats, it's in a physical way that's very, very intimate. So when you're with a family member who is as close to you as you know me and my sister, we are very, very close, you're feeling people's breaking points, you're feeling people's frustration, but you're also feeling their strength and you're also admiring their resilience and their grit. And it allows you to have a window into who they are in a way that we don't get to have outside. So I would say that is a really beautiful thing that's brought us closer. To be able to share that unique experience that's already really special in jiu-jitsu with Kendall and kind of share that dynamic together was really fun, you know? And for me, it was fun in a lot of special ways. When we were younger, when she was mad at me or annoyed with me, you know, she would mount me in positions and I didn't know how to get out because I didn't really train that much when I was younger. So it was really fun when I got older and started to learn things and I was able to give her better training, especially with her goals. As a professional athlete, it felt really good for me to be able to support her by giving her a good training session, helping her improve her jiu-jitsu, especially because we're around the same size, so that definitely helps a lot as well. I think definitely training together has strengthened our relationship and being able to kind of understand each other on a whole new level that we hadn't before. And I think in general, you know, when you're training, jiu-jitsu humbles you in a lot of ways and you have to learn you know, a lot of emotional maturity through doing a martial arts. And sometimes you know, it's a little bit hard when I'm training with Kendall because we have that connection as sisters. Sometimes when I'm frustrated, I don't really wanna hide it as much as I would with somebody who's not a member of my family because you know, it's kinda of like when you fight with your siblings, you're kind of, you kinda of see red and you're all out and you don't really worry about um, their opinion of you or anything because you're siblings and you, you, know, you know you're gonna love each other and, forgive and be good at the end of the day. It's definitely interesting how jiu-jitsu has improved our relationship. Not that it needed much improvement before because we're um, pretty close, but just kind of added a new level to the relationship that we already have. The number one memory that sticks out in my mind as far as Emma and I in jiu-jitsu competition that's memorable is at ADCC in 2022 in the quarterfinals I'm in this match with Giovanna Jara and it was, I knew it was going to be really tough. She's a great competitor and my game plan throughout ADCC was obviously my usuals like take down, pass, okay, I'm on top position and something happened. I get taken down and Emma and my other coach at the time, Saul, like it was those two in my corner along with my mindset coach, Mike, giving me complete directive action. So we had gone out to the match. I get taken down and I was stuck in bottom turtle for, I don't know, like a lot of minutes, like maybe, maybe, maybe four minutes. Like it was quite a while, maybe three minutes. And I remember feeling fairly calm. Like I, had worked through this in, in training. I wasn't panicked. There weren't any points on the scoreboard. I was in bottom turtle. I wasn't really feeling threatened for my back or anything like that. But I also didn't feel like I could get up or I could escape from the situation. So I was trying to work out in my mind, how am I gonna turn this match around? How am I gonna get you know, to top position? Or how am I gonna stand back up without opening up positions for Giovanna to take my back? And there was a moment where I was finally able to escape and I came into the top position and I was passing the guard. So there's still no points on the board because I had escaped the turtle position, I'm passing the guard and I'm hearing, you know, Saul, I'm hearing Emma, I'm hearing Mike, I'm hearing, a lot, you know, my other family members and my boyfriend and everyone in the crowd. And there was this moment where I went to, I needed to open the guard because I needed to put some points on the board. And I didn't really want to go into overtime and start back on my feet. Cause even though I'm really confident on my feet, I was like, well, I just got taken down. So that's not ideal. <laughs> so I'm in the closed guard and I'm trying to open the guard and multiple times. I try to stand up and open the closed guard and I'm not getting it. Like I'm trying to break it. She's pulling me back in. I, you know, she has a very strong position, very difficult for me. And I remember I look up and Emma is yelling and she's like, whatever it takes, whatever it takes. And for whatever reason, that moment, you know, she yelled the time 
I don't remember exactly how much now was on the clock, maybe like a minute 45 was left on the clock. She was like, whatever it takes. And I look up in that exact moment, she's yelling, I know the time, I see her and boom, I get up and I break the guard. And as soon as the guard was open, I pass. I'm knee on belly, I'm mounted, I'm like smashing the entire mat. I finish with a guillotine, I tap her out, I win, it's a huge moment. And I just remember like being so ecstatic and then the first person that I wanna see, the first thing that I'm looking at was Emma in the corner. Like it was this huge feeling of I didn't do it alone, I did it with people that I love. And that moment in particular, she is not always the person to yell and be super directive. Like she really isn't. She's not very bossy. She's not, you know, especially me being the older sister, like, but she just knew intuitively at that moment, like not when I was stuck in turtle, she wasn't yelling, freaking out. It was that moment that I needed that shove right over the edge. And I had that and it was like her strength to me, boom. And I was able to, you know, overcome in that moment and win the match and it was huge. And the celebration after that was just, absolutely so special so that was probably my favorite memory that I have with her in jiu-jitsu especially because of how hard that camp had been leading into ADCC and how big of a part she was at helping me prepare I mean I just felt all of her love for me in that moment and it really pushed me through. When it comes to competing uh, for me personally Kendall has really supported me in a lot of unique ways that are not always something that I think are replicated in other teams or other you know coaching dynamics or even other family dynamics you know in really specific ways. When I go out to compete and I have Kendall by my side, it is one of the best feelings in the world to know there's somebody out there that understands my game, understands my mindset, you know, knows how I was raised, knows what comforts me, knows what makes me annoyed, you know, knows what I need to hear when I lose, knows what I need to hear when I win, knows what I need to hear when I need feedback and when I'm not in the, you know, in the space to really get a lot of feedback and all those things. So for me, I think it's just a really unique thing to have somebody that understands you so well. And I think that's definitely something that um, is really hard to find. You know, it's something that siblings share. So it's really special for us to be able to have that in those moments that we do need a lot of support. When you strive, with somebody like that. There is an intimacy and there is a vulnerability that breeds such closeness. I think there's a quote that's like, nothing breeds closeness like shared struggle. There's something like that. I think it actually originated from the military, but it is true. It's like when you share that struggle with someone. So when you get to do it with a sibling, someone you're already so close with, who knows you inside and out, who grew up seeing the same things, hearing the same stuff, knows your parents, your favorite TV shows, all the little things that no one ever saw about you. And then you get to do that together as an adult. It's really special because not only are you struggling, but you're you're persevering and you are challenging yourself and you're succeeding and to feel that level of training, like what you get in a training partner and what you get in a sibling combined as far as how much you trust them, how much you know they have your back 24 seven. It's a really, really unique opportunity and it's something that I wish everybody had.